They claim to have discovered the secrets of Sulaiman. What secrets of Sulaiman? How he controlled the jinn and the animals. We all should know, uh, those of us that have studied a little bit of Islam, that Sulaiman was given something that nobody else was given. We know this. Sulaiman was given something that no other prophet was given, no other person was given. And that's what the dua he made to Allah. Oh Allah, give me a power. Mulk here doesn't just mean a kingdom, it means the power, the mulukiyah, the, the kingdom or the control that no one after me will have. So Allah says, because of his dua, we gave him the power of the wind. فَسَخَّرْنَ لَهُ الرِّيحَ Right? تَجْبِ أَمْرِ رُخَانِ حَيْثُ أَصَابُ وَالشَّيَاطِينَ We gave him the power of the shayateen. And in other verses, we gave him the power to speak to animals. So the animals, وَحُشِرَ لِسُلَيْمَانَ جُنُودُهُ مِنَ الْجِنِّ وَالْإِنْسِ وَالطَّيْرِ And all of the armies of Sulaiman, from the jinn, and the ints, and the birds, all of these are armies of Sulaiman. So Sulaiman was given the power to control the jinn. Okay, and even the animals and the wind. It is said that after Sulaiman died, or according to one opinion, even while he was alive, the shayateen claimed to have unlocked his power. What was the power according to the shayateen? The shayateen said, Sulaiman knows black magic. So he's controlling the jinn through sihr, through black magic. Then Allah defends Sulaiman. Wama kafara Sulaiman. Sulaiman did not commit kufr. Rather, it was the shayateen who committed kufr. Now, the verse is very difficult to understand without context. The story goes as follows. It is said that during the time of Sulaiman, that somehow they managed to catch him at a time of neglect or whatever, and they started slandering and spreading rumors about him so that people lose respect for Sulaiman. And of the things that they said was that Sulaiman is a magician and that he controls the jinn through sihr. And Allah says, some of the modern Yahud believe this as well. And they're instead of following the Qur'an, they're following the shayateen. Then Allah defends Sulaiman. Sulaiman was not a kafir. وَمَا كَفَرَ Sulaiman. This shows us that practicing magic makes you a kafir. Because the jinns accuse Sulaiman of being a magician, not of being a kafir. And Allah defended Sulaiman by saying, He didn't say Sulaiman was not a magician. Rather, Allah said Sulaiman did not commit kufr. And from this, the scholars have derived that practicing magic is disbelief in Allah. It was the shayateen who committed kufr. How did they commit kufr? They were the ones teaching mankind sihr.